Today he spoke exclusively to a high-ranking operative. Explicit warnings of military action against Iran coming. 100 Israeli rockets slammed into... While we all witness uh, tragedy and conflict throughout the world, there isn't peace in the world. And there are all these wars and challenges and all these conflicts going on. Conflict is not the only answer. Anger, war, these are not the answers. Peace is the thing that everybody needs in the world right now. Of course, a lot of things we have to do better, but the uh, idea of this project is very, very good and very deep in my heart too. I think a one-time peace orchestra uh, celebration is great to s kick off, but it has to be a worldwide movement. I'd be happy to be involved. could have imagined that ethnical instruments would actually cooperate nicely with classical instruments. Believe me, I was performing as a soloist with so many amazing professional orchestras, some of the best in the world. And of course, they're amazing, but there's nothing could be still stronger than this young people from all around the world has this passion for music of this kind of international language that unites everybody together. that would come there that I hope that when they leave the concert they would experience something totally different and new, musically speaking. I'm ready for this big show. Yes, I'm ready. In the last 10 years, you, you gotta stop and remember in the last five days leading up to less than an hour from now where young people will start playing instruments, begging the world to listen to a world filled with peace rather than the noise of bombs exploding. These young men and women have worked extraordinarily hard, and their passion and dedication deserves to be rewarded. So before we even begin, let's give them a round of applause. So how fitting that we've come together tonight to celebrate peace. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to ask you to please join me in welcoming the 2013 World Peace Orchestra.